welcome to another Green Giant Tactical Airsoft review. Uh, recently, I have started, well, it's when I'm airsofting, I'm always wearing gloves, but uh, the ones I've been using for the last couple of years are starting to grow tired, so I've started looking at other alternatives. Uh, these are what I had before, uh, 511 something or others, that I know they don't make them anymore, um, but frankly though, well, yeah, they, they started off rather solid, but these are um, fraying away on hand grips and so on, so they are being put aside for the moment. I'll use them for other stuff, but for SF they're pretty much useless now, um, because, well, there's tears all over the place. Um, so, I was looking around my local airsoft shop and came across uh, something made by uh, the, well, an own brand build glove made by uh, Gunfire PL. Uh, and these are those. Uh, it was uh, 13 quid, so plenty cheap enough, but it doesn't really bother me. Uh, nice solid build, you can see they've vaguely styled off the Oakley gloves that everyone seems to covet. I personally despise the things, but these are different enough uh, that these are actually useful for me. I was pleasantly surprised considering it was based off the open. Um, you've got a Kevlar reinforced knuckle. Unlike the oak things, it doesn't have the plastic coating on the outside that's uh, chipped away and scratches and it so isn't particularly flexible. This does actually have some flex to it, but it's not seen like that, uh, which means that it doesn't constrict your hand movement as much. Uh, other than that, the rest of the glove, we've got a nice lock to catch at the top, that's not throwing away. The rest of the glove is made of neoprene in whatever colour you like. I think it's uh, black, sand, or the OD light I've got itself. Um, you've got reinforcement on the palms. If I can get that to turn the focus. Okay. Just about, you've got reinforcement there, and you've got some across the palm. Yeah, this camera's not so very good. Um, so you've got reinforcement across the palms and around the fingers a bit. You've got stitching in such a way that you've not actually got stitching on the tip of the finger or wrapping round, which can cause irritation. And it doesn't matter what kind of trigger guard it is, it could be the smallest trigger guard in the world, you're not going to have any problems getting these in. So these will be great for the winter, especially. So, um, feel reasonably strong. Um, I'll get back to you in the future on how those are going for me. Um, thanks for watching. Yeah, as usual, uh, like on Facebook, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and uh, like uh, follow us on Twitter. Um, and thank you for watching. Uh, and see you next time.